crap about what I did. Especially when I kidnapped Fatima and Austin. Also, Justine's fake parents should be arrested for kidnapping Justine and Annabelle. Wow. You really think that Ted and Camilla are kidnapping Justine and Annabelle? They did nothing wrong. Child Protective Services legally adopted those girls and were removed from their former parents because of the way they abused them 24-7. They now I live a better life. As for Justine who is now back at her current age. You three should be ashamed of yourselves. I cannot believe you along with Evil Yellow Horse and Paper Luigi 99's Boris helped Sonny and Alice with attempting to kidnapping Justine and Annabelle and held Fatima and Austin hostage. This is kidnapping and attempted murder. I cannot believe you three would do something like that. Hey, we did nothing wrong, and I agree with Karen. Ted and Camilla are not Justine's real parents. Those people should be arrested and... Shut the hell up Evil Yellow Horse. You will accept the fact that Ted and Camilla are Justine and Annabelle's new legal guardians, and there is nothing you can do about it now. All right, Boris, Evil Yellow Horse, Karen McCarrenson, and Judge Greg Bargan. How do you guys plead? I plead, not guilty, Your Honor. There is no way I am going to jail over you Justine fan brats. Me, Sonny and Alice are the good guys, Justine and all of the Shadow Ops police are the bad guys and Officer Tony Hamilton is nothing but a complete traitor for joining that stupid Shadow Ops police. I also plead, not guilty, your honor. I agree with Evil Yellow Horse, not guilty. I agree with Boris and Evil Yellow Horse, not guilty. Well, all this evidence of corruption, allowing child abuse, and three of you helping Sonny and Alice scutter with their kidnapping on Justine and Annabelle scutter and you plead, not guilty? I cannot believe it. I will now call the first person to come up to the stand, and that is, Judge Brandon, who got falsely accused of the same crimes that Judge Greg Bargan caused. I kindly call him to come up to the stand and see what he has to say about Greg Bargan. This, idiot, right here had to frame me and get me arrested for something I never did. And I am glad to see Justine become an adult again. However, I did appear in a video when Justine assaults her teacher by throwing a desk at Mr. Butler, but this is in the past now. Justine isn't a bad person anymore and I am glad she changed. I am very furious at Greg Bargon for all the crap he put me through because of his cover-up. I was at an embarrassment parade when I wore a dress and got humiliated by everyone. Not only that, I got a false life sentence and even got eaten up by a younger more in my prison cell. I cannot believe you would falsely get me arrested. You know what? I won't even bother with telling you the whole story. But your terrible idea to allow child abuse to Justine's former parents, corrupting the police and for putting our police in jeopardy went way too far. Justine shouldn't be child abused like that. And I get that Justine killed her former parents at a local hotel back in 2022. But, she should never, ever, be abused so horribly. You, Greg Bargan, do not deserve to be respected by anyone in the city anymore, and you are the worst judge that has ever stepped foot in Viand grounds. How about this, everyone, why don't we give Greg Bargan a punishment where he will suffer for the rest of his life? I hereby declare that Greg Bargan is guilty. Thank you very much Judge Brandon. You may now return to the stand. I will now call Annabelle, Fatima and Austin to come up to the stand. Those three people are the ones who kidnapped me and Austin back in July on my sister's birthday. I also cannot believe I was turned into a kid by Sonny and Alice. These three even held us hostage and threatened to shoot us if they don't get Justine and Annabelle back. I agree with Fatima. These people drove a van that said free candy on it. Whenever Fatima saw the kids along with Justine and Annabelle were on that van, Karen and Evil Yellow Horse threw a fishnet at us and pulled us in the van. We were scared when that happened. And don't even get me started on Greg Bargan. He made me and Justine's life a living hell when we were stuck living our former parents. We couldn't even get any police officers to come and save us from our horrible former parents. Just because Justine caused all those crimes in the past doesn't mean that she should be child abused out of her life. Judge Bargan showed no remorse on Justine. Under his bullcrap, Justine got beaten up over the snow drought, two channels being deleted, 
She got her memory files deleted all because of some stupid requirement by the law. Our former parents even threw us out in a snowstorm in summer clothes, also, I believe the judge also sends out the devil to revive our parents every time they get killed, and every time we tried escaping from them, he always sends police to come looking for us no matter how far away we go. I am now glad that our former parents are gone for good, and I think the judge Greg Bargan and these three kidnappers should be plead, guilty. That's right Annabelle. I know it was the judge who sent out one of the police officers to barge in her house back in December along with her former parents, kidnapping Justine and Annabelle. And torturing these girls even more. This is what that officer said to us. It's not my decision. It was the judge's decision, they told my boss to keep an eye out for Justine. Her only options are to go to jail or live with her parents and be abused almost daily. Now that I think about it. I am now glad that Greg Bargan is now caught, and Justine and Annabelle can now have peace without him or those three kidnappers, so I plead that he is, guilty. As for Boris, we saw his video Caillou's Ultimate Punishment Day, we saw him and his wife make Caillou drink maggots and toilet water, and even made him drink his own vomit, Boris, you also made your son eat your own poop. Which is extremely gross, you even beaten him up with a spiked bat and a hammer. That is assault. And just like what former Officer Smith did to me and Justine, Boris also ran his son over with his car, and we also saw him get ran over by a bus. What he did to his son is murder. We saw him get ran over by Canadian Armed Forces with a tank which was called in by Boris. You also poured liquid nitrogen on your son, you even pushed your son off a helicopter for his final punishment. That is more murder on your son. You also shot your son with an airsoft gun and pushed him on a rock, making his knee bleed, you whipped Caillou to death and threw a tire on your son. That is assault on your son. And other violent punishments you did to Caillou, and what's even worse. Your actions also made your son commit suicide. I, I cannot believe that you would torture your kid like that. You know what, you, Karen. Evil Yellow Horse, and Judge Bargain should be plead. G U Y L T Y, guilty. Oh my god, Austin. Seriously, you need to calm down. You just scared everyone in the courtroom. Ha ha ha. Caillou just got child abused by his parents. I love seeing him getting an ultimate punishment day. Shut the hell up, Greg. Caillou getting child abused and committing suicide is not funny at all. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you did to Justine. Anyways, I will now call Kevin McCarrenson to come up to the stand. Well, I used to be married to Karen McCarran's son. I used to also act like her whenever we go places, until I divorced her back in 2021. After her divorce, I stopped acting like a Karen entirely. I seriously cannot believe that my ex-wife was involved in Sonny and Alice's kidnapping scheme on Justin and Annabelle. And when I saw her with Femma, they turned her into a kid. Shame on her. Karen. I plead that you and everyone else here plead, guilty. Thank you Officer Kevin, you may now return to the stand. Alright everyone, since the kidnappers along with Greg Bargan plead not guilty, how does the jury find these criminals? Guilty. 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 Right. Evil Yellow Horse. For kidnapping Justine with Boris, Karen, and Justine's former parents, you are hereby sentenced to 20 years at Gator Island Federal Prison in Louisiana. What? Are you kidding me right now? 20 years in prison. Yellow Horse and Black Bear are going to flip when they see me in prison. To bad Evil Yellow Horse. This is what you get for helping Sonny and Alice with their kidnapping. Karen McCarrenson for helping Sonny and Alice Scudder with kidnapping their daughter and holding Fatima and Austin hostage, also for disturbing the peace and acting up at places, you are hereby sentenced to 40 years in the same prison where Evil Yellow Horse will be staying at. Are you kidding me right now? You can't do this to me. Oh just wait till I bail myself out of prison and get revenge on Justine and Annabelle one day. Too bad Karen. I would like to see you try to break out of those bonds. Maybe if you didn't help Sonny and Alice with holding Fatima and Austin hostage, you would have never been in this situation. Paper Luigi 99's Boris Anderson. For psychological and physical abuse, 
helping Sonny and Alice kidnap Justine and Annabelle Scudder, held Fatima and Austin hostage, and attacked, killed, abused, tortured, raped and gave your son ultimate punishment days, and for causing your son's suicide, you are hereby sentenced to life in prison without parole, and I have also arrested your wife and daughter Rosie while we arrested the judge behind the Justine Scudder child abuse case, you and your family will also be staying at the same prison as Evil Yellow Horse and Karen are staying at, and I will also have additional security and guards to keep an eye on you so you don't ever escape. What? Are you kidding me right now? You cannot sentence me to life in prison. I have all rights to abuse my son Kalu and Justine should be living a horrible life abuse with her parents for all the crap she has caused in the city. And last but not least, Greg. Bargain, for allowing child abuse to Justine's former parents, corrupting the police, framing Judge Brandon and for covering up her former parents' crime spree, you are hereby terminated from being a judge for Vion City, permanently. And, you, are, so, sentenced, to, life. Without parole. And you will serve the rest of your life staying at Gator Island Prison with no hopes of being bribed out or escape prison, ever. Do you understand? What? Are you kidding me right now? I didn't do anything wrong. Nor does their parents, and I did not corrupt the police. It was the police that corrupted themselves. Well, too bad. You deserve to be punished huge time for your crimes. I am the real judge. You are nothing but a bad influence to the Vion City. And... Oh, and one more thing before you get put in prison. Starting today, I am officially filing a divorce on you forever. I cannot be with someone who supports criminals who allow child abuse and gets away with it. Ah, oh, come on. You wouldn't do this to me, huh? Oh, yes, I will, Greg Bargain. I hope you suffer in jail the same way as Justin Scapter did when she had to live with her former abusive parents. I do not want to have kids with someone who decided to make a child abuse cover up and get away with it. And I am officially selling my wedding ring over at the pawn shop. I will never see you again for this horrible crime cover-up you caused. And after this court trial ends, I am officially signing my divorce papers on you. So, goodbye, forever, you corrupted criminal. Okay guys, listen, I am very sorry for what I did. I did this because I can't take Justine anymore for causing trouble in Vian City. As for my wife, please don't divorce me. Everyone. Can I please have a second chance and I promise that I will change and never, ever, do it ever again? Absolutely not. It's too late for apologies. Sonny and Alice Scudder have already been executed by Alejandro Mera and his game show for what they done to their daughters 24-7. It is your fault for allowing child abuse to her former parents. Maybe if you could've helped her and Annabelle with her problems, this would have never happened. It is over. You're done, big time. This is the last time that you will ever see me. Have fun staying in prison for the rest of your pathetic life for what you got away with. Actually Judge and Justine. I got a better idea for Judge Bargain. What is it Judge Brandon? What do you got in mind? Since I was put in that embarrassment parade with the other enemies of Justine Scudder, as part of my revenge, I was thinking we should... Oh no! What is going to happen to me? Oh, you're going to find out Mr. Bargain. Oh crap. This is not good. No, 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 Why am I in the press? I am very humiliated. I'm stuck in the distance of the stage. We are being humiliated. I will just judge Michael and have Judge Brain to do this to us. Alright. Now that I have my camera out, let's show this to the whole world. Breaking news. Judge Bargain and the kidnappers are being humiliated at their own concert. Just watch this hilarious video. 